What is up guys? Today I want to show you guys how to rig up this Salvamar metal spear gun with a reel. Um, what you're going to get when you get this Salvamar metal is uh, a little bit of mono, a couple crimps. Um, you are going to get the Salvamar metal, two bands, two, I, I believe these are 14.5 millimeter bands, um, a reel, and uh, believe that's it. You, you, you'll have to purchase separately your reel line. This is some uh, Dyneema 2 millimeter SK75. This um, is some extra wishbone material. This is some Spectra 1.9 millimeter wishbone material um, piece of tape for threading the eye hole these are some crimps these are some heavy duty crimps definitely nice to have but probably a little bit out of most people's budget at hundred and fifty dollars um, little drill unfortunately since we like to use the two millimeter this real eye hole is a little small so we're just going to bore that out just a teeny bit that that drill barely or um, that dr drill fits through there and I just kind of wiggle it around to make that just a teeny bit bigger um, yeah some good scissors and let's get started because this is going to be a really long video let's see if I can put this camera right here rig it up see if it'll stay probably should have thought of that all right maybe that's a that could work. Let's uh, start by all right. First, we can tie up this band. I've already pre-tied one of them to save some time, but we're gonna go through that hole. Get it to about where you like it. These bands are pretty powered up, so I'll leave about an inch and a half, two inches right there. Hopefully you can see this. Twist. Actually, pause that. All right. Let's go from here and make sure I'm capturing this on video. So grab this. Push it through right here. Twist around once, twist around twice, and I go pretty tight on that, like that, and then through this hole. Now we're just going to cinch that up. That's all it is. That's all you need to do to tie your band. I leave a little excess right there so you can. As you're as you're using it, if this frays a little bit, you can slide that around and keep moving that fray around so it never actually breaks. You can um, these are super cheap to replace. It's just some Spectra 1.9 millimeter, but it's nice to have it last as long as possible. Got your notches right here that they're gonna go on. This is a rest notch. Also can be used for you know. Um, if you only want to load one band and you want to get the other band out of the way, maybe you're shooting into rocks and you want less power, shooting some lionfish, possibly you can use that single notch and not bust your shaft up. So, um, next thing we'll do is start with the reel. Like I said, we've got to bore this out a little bit. I don't think, I, I don't think I'll be able to get this on video. Let's try. Oh, barely. How would work if I go the right way? Just making that. You've got plenty of plastic, plenty of plastic to work with, so I'm not too worried about. 
that should be enough just to make that eye hole ever so slightly bigger. And uh, next, we need our Allen wrench. Uh-oh, can't find the Allen wrench. I just had it out. Watch this video back to see where I put it. There we go. All right. So, grab our Allen wrench, and that's not the size. Right there, this is a standard metric set, and it's going to be a, um, man, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five. So the fifth one, one, two, three, four, a four millimeter. We need a four millimeter. Now when you take this out, be sure not to lose anything. And you want to try to make sure you're keeping this bolt just snugged up on there like that with that spring. That's what's gonna give you your nice, now that's, that slides in there carefully and that's what's going to give you your nice action on the reel. We got a couple parts, one, two, three parts we kind of get out of our way and the real line we're going to start by getting this through which can be a process because it's like i said it's pretty tight so i'm just going to take a little bit i'm feathering that down Feathering that line down, and I'm going to grab my tape, a little bit of tape right here, and another tool that I need, a scissor. I'll just, I'm trying to cut just enough to wrap around that once. It's kind of tricky, because if you get too much, then you can't get the dang tape through. All right, so grab that, tape it around. All right, we got that taped up. Nice little point. Let's hope that'll slide through. Sometimes I don't get this first try. All right, so right hand reeler. You're gonna you're you're a right handed reeler, and you're going to reel this way. So we want to make sure that that knot is going. The knot is jamming in that way. So, jamming in not that way. Oh Lord, not gonna make it. It's not quite wide enough. Oh, I got it through, but now I need a pair of pliers. Grab my old trusty pliers. Oh Lord. Not gonna get this on video. You'd think I'd have figured this out better by now. I need a needle nose. I need a needle nose. Where's my needle nosers? There they are. Why would I grab that? Well, I know I need the needle nosers. All right. Needle nose. Can we get it? Please, please, please get it through. Don't rip that tape. Don't rip the tape. Oh, it's coming. Got that sucker through. That's a job. That's a little bit of a job. All right, now we're just gonna tie ourselves a knot. Just one knot. Nothing crazy. Hmm. Now, cutting through this line is a bear. We're gonna cut through that line now. Let's tie that root. Let's get a nice tight grasp on that. So that's not gonna slip. <sighs> Once we hit the end of that line, we're good. All right. That's not going nowhere. And just to just to 
make sure we're gonna burn it. Yep, we're gonna burn it. Get a nice, nice bubble on that. All right, we got a good bubble. All right, yeah. You might just wanna pay somebody to do this for you. This is a job, all right. Okay, here we go. This is my secret. I can't tell y'all about this. I can't show it to you. This is too this is too big of a secret. Not even gonna work. Alright. There's my there's my little rig. Just sitting on on it on a chair. I can it's like my second hands. And I'm gonna start reeling this in all right so i'm a right-handed reeler i like to reel this way i like to reel it this way that's the way a right-handed reeler reels that's important you rig it for left-handed if you want to that's fine but today we're rigging it for a right-handed reeler nice and tight nice and tight keeping them lines tight and Y'all can probably just fast forward it. I'll just stop the video here because this is going to take forever. What's up, guys? Just an update on this progress. You can see what I'm doing. I'm just taking my thumb and just pressing against the edge. I'll take my fingers and I'll jam them in there every once in a while to tighten up that wrap. And that's about it. You can see she's getting there. All right guys, so we're adding our little bolt into the reel right here, and we just wanna make sure that is just slightly tensioned on that spring, and we'll drop it in there. No, we'll drop it in there. Make sure it's locked into place on that. Drop it in here, and when you're spinning it, you just want to make sure that the drag is spinning at the same time with each rotation of the bolt. And that's important because that's keeping that spring tension exactly in the same place. And that spring is what's going to give you your nice drag tension adjustment. So here we are. We got our, we can test it. Let's loosen it. Loosen it a little bit, tighten it a little bit more. See if it'll tighten, probably won't. Nope, won't tighten, that means you're good. So we'll tighten that drag down, come back, grab this line excess, and thread it through the drag, the real drag line guide. So go through the real guide, and then we're gonna go through the muzzle guide. So, why am I struggling to do that? I don't know. And back up through here. Boom. See that? Look at that. Right through there. How about that? There we go. Oh. Let's see what's wrong with this. There we go. Not bad. Not bad. Ooh. All right. All right, tighten down that drag. Get that line nice and tight. You can see. There is your Dyneema 2 millimeter installed on the reel. Let's keep on going. What's next? What's next? What's next, might you ask? All right, here's our shaft. A lot of options on which way we want to want to put that uh, that monofilament. I'm going to go all the way at the end. Nice and smooth all the way through. Yeah, let's do it that way. We're just going to do one wrap of monofilament. Nice and easy. So, we got to we got to untangle this jank. 
what the world we got ourselves into. All right, we're untangling. Just keep flipping it. Don't get it all out of whack. All right, this is our own monofilament. This is, a, a, I believe, just a hair thicker than manufacturer spec. Last a little bit longer and uh, be like the red color. They and when this stuff starts to wear out, you can just replace it with the original. You can replace it with the real line. Some people like to just go straight Dyneema. I find this keeps the shot a little sh faster and uh, less likely to tangle. So, first thing we want to do, we got a lot of line pulled out, probably too much. And uh, what's next? We got to add, we're going to add something. This doesn't come with the kit. Well, now it does. This is a heavy duty swivel, big time. This is a uh, man long fishing tackle size number nine. Man long for the win. Here we go. So we want to get this nice and tight up in there. Let's save some of that line. We don't want to waste it. All right. Keep on bringing her up, 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 bringing her up. All right. Set her down. Let's go right there. We might just have enough for an extra. All right. So here's another knot for you. We got a knot for you, amateurs. All right, what we're going to do, we're going to do the same thing we did on the Dagon bands. We just double double around it twice. You didn't even see me do it. One, two. Oh, my God. Look how tricky that is. Well, that was tricky. No, that was not tricky. Y'all should be able to do that. Y'all should be able to do one of them knots. Come on now. Now, for extra safety, I just stick it right through and I throw another knot in there. That ain't going nowhere, sucker. That's guaranteed to stay. You can you can bet your bet your bet your fish on it. You understand? You understand what I'm saying? That ain't going nowhere. You gonna tighten that up? Give me a pliers. Oh, pliers too. What? That boy going in. That boy ain't messing around. He wants that fish. He wants to keep the fish. Huh? Yeah. There we go. Well, now what you got there? What you gonna do now, boy? What you gonna do now? You gotta attach this thing to the shaft. Huh, how we gonna do it? We definitely wanna get a Bill Fisher. Bill Fisher, this is not sponsored. 1.9 millimeter copper double barrel crimps. Not messing around. No, sir. We're gonna go through one time through the line, one time through the mono. Now that's a tight fit. That barely even, look at, that's how you know you got a tight fit when that is not even sliding down the mono. Oh my God, that's so tight. It's, it's tight to begin with. That's what you want. You want it tight to begin with. Barely get it to slide through. Now, now you wanna make it hard on yourself to get it through the second time. Now if it, it went too easy nothing in life that's too easy is ever good all right now all right now here we go we got our crimp she's crimped up let's grab her right in the middle of our shaft right in the middle and uh we're gonna flip her bands up like this. Here, all right. Flip her, no, flip the bands on top of the gun like it would normally be. 
slide that through. Can you see what I'm doing? I doubt it. You're going to get caught up on that loading notch. That's all right. All right. So now what we're going to do, we got our throat. We're going through that little metal notch right there. See that notch? Through that, that's going to go wrap around our gun like that and then back in that other notch on the other side. Then, back to the shooting line release. Down, under, up. Down, under, up. Remember that. All right. Now, tighten our, we're gonna leave this. So, this Dyneema is setting right there. That little spring pigtail swivel clip the pigtail swivel clip remember that all right so we're going to stretch it out about two three inches about two inches past the pigtail swivel clip and then we cut it we cut it now we got to get another crimp damn this is taking forever how why would i do this when i could just pay somebody to do it stupid All right, anyway, we got her through there. Oh. oh, pinch her down, pinch her down. All right, pinch down. Now you know where that is. Look at that, that's pinched. Don't forget where your crimp is. Oh, slide her back up. Now we're going back through. Slip her through. Slip her through. Oh, she's hard to get through. That's good. All right, all right, now slide her up. Slide her up real tight. Nah, just a little bit. Just a little bit because we're going to cut an excess. We have to cut a little excess. This damn thing. Like that. Get it close. Ah, cut it off. Da -da. Bam. Burn it, burn it, burn it. Where's the burner? Burn that sucker. Oh, yeah. Look at her burn. Look at her burn. Look at her burn. She burned. Look at that. All right. Slide her back down. Leave a teeny tail. Leave a teeny little bit of tail. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why we leave a teeny tail. That will let you know that you're slipping. You don't ever let yourself get caught slipping, neither. You get caught slipping, that fish is going to be ripping through the sea. Woe was me. Should have been on my line. Cause it's frying time. Oh, that didn't rhyme. All right. Connect yourself to your to your pig tail man long swivel clip man. Don't mess around. Get the good stuff. All right. Just check her out again. Back through, huh? We'll check her out. Back through. You don't remember how I taught you? I already taught you how to do this. Back through. Down. Nice and tight. All right. So we got that. Now we might need to loosen up our drag and then tighten her right on back up. Tighten her back up. Oh my goodness. Look at cheer. Now what we can do with this, you won't get, you won't hide that out your way. You can grab it and, and sling it around through there. Sling it around through there. Little notch on the middle there. I don't really like doing that because that the stuff never gets in my way. But this side right here, you just going to slide her down that air, air. Look at how we are. How we done it. All right. She's right to shoot. She's a bit right to shoot. Excuse me. Now don't worry about your life. It's going to get, it's going to get ugly. You're just going to have to. Look at that metal mechanism. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Ready to go.